Hey everyone, I hope y'all are doing good. Today I have a message for someone and this is a very special message. It has just been itching to come out and I've been wanting to record this video for days now. And so when I get these intuitive messages, it's really kind of like an urge to really get this message out there. But with everything happening in my life and in everything like that, it has been just so chaotic and hard to be able to film this video. So even today, it's the same case. It's very hard to film this video, but I do not care. I will go ahead and film it here in this car now. So actually, on top of everything that I was talking about, the chaos and all of that, this morning, come to find out, there is a hurricane um, headed for the Gulf close to where I live. And if y'all know, um, I have a homestead, I have farm animals and just lots of things that I've got to take care of before the hurricane, which all preparations pretty much got to be done before 12 noon tomorrow. So there's not a lot of time. So I've been running around picking up feed in my little feed truck here. I got um, feed for the horses, cows, everything. And so we've been getting gasoline, just tons of stuff. But at the same time, my brother's in town. So I'm here um, to watch a movie with him at a movie theater, but I got here a little bit earlier. And yes, I'm in this truck and I didn't really have a good setup to, to put my phone, but it does not matter. This message is meant for you. So let's jump right into it now. So if you are feeling like this world is just not yours anymore, like things are shifting so much that you're not relating to the things here anymore, I want to tell you that you are one of the ones that is moving more into the spiritual now. So you're moving more into the non-physical and you're beginning to sense things more intuitively rather than looking at the earth and everything that's happening. So you may not be that in tune with politics. You don't want to hear about that. You don't want to know about these things like when these natural disasters even happen or any of these things. It's like you intuitively now are going within. So we're going to explore that here a little bit and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that and the changes that happen. So what's wanting to come through is that this message is for someone that's having trouble sleeping, having trouble with um, their energy, they're feeling tired yet they're like not able to sleep and there's just this chaos and disturbance. Um, so you're going to be feeling this kind of energy coming through whether you have spurts of a lot of energy and then kind of these lows without very much energy. So it's going to be like these ups and downs. The other thing that will be experienced is things around emotions, the same sort of thing. Emotions will come out uh, to be released. And that's really what's happening here. Even when we're talking about sleep, uh, you may be having dreams. You may be having like visions and things like that. And these things are actually meant to release, to release those things in the subconscious mind. So you're going to kind of be experience some of this kind of turbulence within your body system. Um, it's time to really take care of yourself. Drink water, lots of water. Get sunlight. Make sure that you get some sunlight each day, okay? Watch your foods, what you're eating. You know, make sure that they're good, healthy foods for you. Exercise. Walking is an amazing thing that anyone can do. You know, if you're already exercising, amazing. But walking, something like that to kind of unwind the mind and also get the body in movement uh, is really, really helpful right now. So what is happening right now? What is happening to you? It feels like maybe you're transforming into something. I made a video before about kind of going through the dark night of the soul and I equated that to um, the system of uh, metamorphosis within a butterfly. So what that's like, right? First, it's an egg, right? And then it's a caterpillar and it eats and it consumes and consumes. Just like we do, we consume information, we consume um, material things, we just consume and acquire and add on to ourselves. But then comes a stage of going into darkness, introspection, you're just in this cocoon. And what really begins to happen there is a shedding, a shedding of all that is. Um, all of those things that were added on to that caterpillar that you ate, that you consumed, that made you bigger, that made you different. Um, all of that is going away. It's shedding, literally shedding within that cocoon. All of those pieces are shedding away till all of a sudden what happens to what was that caterpillar? It becomes literally like a goo in there, like just literally like a goo. And you may be feeling this in your own life right now. You feel like goo, like what is going on? You feel like you've been through it. That's natural. That's normal because the next part of that stage is now you're going to become a butterfly, right? So the end result of that is actually something you would have never imagined while you were in the stage of being a goo. 
while you were that goo, while you shed everything and you were that goo in the cocoon, we're just imagining here, stick with me. Um, you probably could have never imagined that you would become a beautiful butterfly that could fly. You know, you had gone from, you were a caterpillar. How could you imagine something so grand and great and different? So it's just like our own lives. Sometimes we go through things, there are ups, there's downs, and right now we've made a huge shift within consciousness. So what was of the past is no more. We can even look into evolutionary history and stuff like that. You know, what happened 100 years ago was acceptable. 200 years ago is not okay now. Or things have changed, or maybe it is okay, whatever. But things change. We are not meant to stay the same. What is constant is constant, and that is prior to this illusion. So what's happening here is really a transformation into something totally brand new that you've never experienced. So there's a little bit of fear in there. You're going to be feeling the feelings of fear. You maybe had uh, felt like you had overcome anxiety. For me, I had really kind of overcome anxiety, not overcome it, it just kind of fell away with my non-dual awakening. And a lot of that will begin to come up again. Okay, and it might be pointing to something that still needs to be released there. And that's totally natural. We have really acquired and added on a lot to ourselves during that caterpillar stage. And not even that caterpillar stage. This is actually an eternal um, story we're talking about. And there's a lot added on to us, even genetically, DNA, all these things within the story. And those things need to be cleared. Those things need to be released in order for the new um, kind of upgraded being to emerge. So what is happening here is you're actually being upgraded. So you think you're being downgraded. You feel low. You feel like goo. You feel like you're just losing yourself and things are just, you're losing friends, losing people, losing things. And it feels to you that you're losing or that you're downgrading or that you are disintegrating, but that's not what is happening here. What is happening here is you're being upgraded to your next timeline, to that shift in consciousness that has just happened. And that has shift, that shift that has happened has actually happened for everybody. It hasn't just happened for you or me. Yes, many of us have been on these paths of really being um, counselors, helpers, healers, um, speakers. Many, many, many of you, if not most of every one of you that watches my channel has these gifts and abilities. And so you are now being kind of upgraded to begin to really share these things if you have not. So your, your capacity to hold energy, to transmit unconditional love is expanding. And so that requires a new vessel, that requires a new way of being. You will have to be lighter. You will have to transform in some ways. And that may be uncomfortable because change is always uncomfortable when our body changes, when our um, emotions change, anything, any transition is a problem uh, for people. And it's not really a problem, but that's how we perceive it. And I've talked about how I've worked with like many children and toddlers and children with behavior issues. The main issues they have a lot of times um, really just come out during transitions. Um, a lot of times they can be doing really, really well in school and, you know, just be in their routines and doing great. But as soon as a transition comes that shifts them out of their routine, their normal routine, um, we begin to see tantrums, we begin to see behavior problems, we begin to see real issues with this child. But you see, those issues aren't real, real issues though. They're not. Because as soon as I get in there, we start working on these things. The child actually expands to more, to be able to now shift through these different transitions a lot easier. So now the child gets more comfortable with moving from playing in the park to going inside. Whereas before they would throw themselves down on the ground, scratch, and just claw their way to stay there. And so the transitions are happening a lot easier. But that's not to say that you won't have those tantrum feelings or the feeling of anger or anxiety or those old emotions come up. They will come up because everyone doesn't really want to leave their comfort zone. You've built this comfort zone. You may have really built your life in a certain way and you're comfortable in it. Deep down inside, you know it's not the life you're meant to live, but you've built it and it's comfortable for you. But it's time for something different. And as uncomfortable it is, as it is to go into this dark cocoon and just shed every part of you and become this goo, 
we, what will happen is something that you have no idea of, you have no perception of, you don't even know that you will become that beautiful butterfly. You have no real vision of that yet. So what we have to do is trust. And there's sayings that we see, you know, coming from the Bible, but coming from many places that say, you know, walk by faith, not by sight. And I've mentioned this before in other videos about the 3D and 5D, and that's essentially what it is. The 3D, three dimension, is this earth, is the earthly plane, the material plane. And this is what we see, and that's what most people are dealing with, and they're constantly trying to create their lives, add on to themselves, just like that caterpillar. But the 5D life, or the 5D dimension, is a spiritual life. It's not of the material world. It's another world. And I didn't ever really understand this. I had heard people talking about this when I was younger, that there was a spiritual uh, life happening somewhere, but I never could see it. And we can't really see these things till we're there. So what is happening is there is truly a spiritual world happening. And when you tap into that, you begin to separate more from the material world. You still play in the material world, but more as, um, as a counselor, as um, someone that is just there to kind of guide in a way. And that's where you're moving to. That is why this message is coming to you. So in order to really live and abide in that 5D, it happens naturally. But it's a process of surrendering, allowing yourself to really be that goo, really be that surrendered being that just doesn't know. I, I made a quote somewhere, uh, maybe it was from, I, I put it on my community tab, y'all go back and look in there um, around um, how to kill a mockingbird. And there's a quote in there, I just don't know it off the top of my head right now. But, you know, courage is not a man with a gun. It was something around that. It's going into the battle, or going into the fight, knowing that you're already licked, meaning you're, you're already beat. You know that you don't have the gun. You know that you can't do this really, but you go through it anyway. And that's what I'm talking about here. That is what you've been called to do, is to move forward no matter what the outside appearances are showing you. You're meant to walk forward in faith. And as you do so, all of those things that you're so scared of losing or whatever, they actually get upgraded. You actually get those things back, but you get them in a more aligned fashion, a more perfect way to who you are. I guess you could say they're just more aligned to who you are. So that job, that relationship, that house, that place you live, whatever it happens to be, is now more and more of who you truly are, okay? So have no fear here. Really, this is not anything to be feared. You are safe, you are held, and anything and everything that is happening, as horrific as it might look, like a hurricane happening or anything, it, you are actually going through an upgrade. So remember to remember, remember really, to keep your eyes on faith and not those things that you cannot see. It's not these things that you're seeing. Go within, go within, go within. And within there you will find the truth, the peace of what is constant in this world because there is a constant peace of you in here. And that is the divine that is in your heart that you can connect to at any time. And I know that most of you watching this already know this, but if you do not know this, there is a divine part of you that you connect with. And that is the part that we return to that we return to and in there is where we find life it's where everything is already being birthed from we think it's happening from the outside world but it's happening from within so we must go within and find peace within us and that's the divine so that is just connecting with your heart and if you um are not familiar with what i'm talking about or you'd like to be guided through it or you'd like to be part of my community please email me at school at gmail.com i have courses groups and one-on-one -on -one sessions to really walk you through this and most of the times i work mostly with counselors i work with um people that have youtube channels I work with people that um, are really trying to spread light. I guess people call them light workers. People that are out there really spreading light, positive messages amongst even all of these things that are happening in the 3D plane. Um, I get messages about why aren't you talking about politics? Why aren't you talking about the wars? And I am talking about those things if you really listen, 
I've talked about the war. I did a video about war and peace. I've talked about politics in a more recent video. But those things are not to be focused on. Those are not to be focused on. That is where you will lose yourself in kind of this new paradigm and you'll just be focused on that. Life is not just about that. Yes, it is affecting us. But um, if you want to listen about politics or whatever it is that you want to listen to, um, there is many people that talk about those topics and they're much better experts than I am because I don't know anything about that stuff. So what I'm talking about, what I share on here is really going within, really finding the peace within your being so that you can withstand any storm happening outside of you so that if politics are going to, to crap, if there's hurricanes, if, you know, your marriage falls apart, if your friends leave you, if someone dies, you are constant, you are firm, you have peace, unabiding peace within your being. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the outside appearances. And so all of you that are on here and are watching this, this message is for you, for you to really tap into that part of you. See, you're really, really evolving here. You're upgrading. One of the um, little animals that I've been seeing a lot of, I like to do little short videos so you can check them out on my YouTube channel. Uh, my short videos a, a lot of times are like nature or animals because I absolutely love animals. I find them so funny, so cute, and then I also like insects and any of that stuff. So I'll just record them and stuff like that and put your little quote behind it. And to me, that's that that makes me happy. But Anyhow, one of the things that has been coming up a lot were little frogs. I have one video up on my shorts with a little frog, and I have my little Tiana song from the uh, movie Princess and the Frog in there. It's one of my favorite movies. But anyhow, frogs, I saw another one last night on my door. Frogs are popping up everywhere for me. So I want to bring this message to you. If anyone has been seeing frogs, that's another message for you, that you are in alignment, that you're transforming, that you're going from something totally different from one thing to another. You're transforming like that butterfly. You're going from egg to tadpole to frog. Totally different, totally different situations, right? A tadpole is like in the water. It's a whole different environment even. It's so different. And that is what is happening to you right now, my friend. And so go along this journey. And if you need any help and support, again, we do have a community here at School of Scarlet. Simply email me at schoolofscarlet at gmail.com and I can get you on that mailing list or I will include uh, my links in the description and comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you resonated with this message, share it with others. Comment down below what your experience is, what is happening in your life right now. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all.